Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. This is your host, Whiteboy503. Um, last time, we got the uh, extra character, Vincent Valentine. We started going through uh, Mount Nimble. And, yeah, that's basically what we did. 30 minutes of that. So let's continue. Let's go through the mountain some more. Alright. So there was no point in going up there. So you don't have to go up there if you don't want to. Just come around this side. And get into more battles, I guess. I just ate a peanut butter cracker. Like, I don't even know what it's called. Um, like a munchies peanut butter cracker thing. And now I have peanut butter stuck to my teeth. It's very annoying. Uh. <clears throat> and I'm out of water. That sucks. Alright, so we're just gonna smash on these guys. Alrighty. Sweet. Level 31. And then run up through here. Squaresoft or Square Enix, whichever. I'm just going to call them Square Enix. Really outdid themselves on the annoyance of, uh, like, like, this sounds bad, but the annoyance of the game. So basically, you see that door, um, I'll, I'll explain it in a second. But that door back there is where we're going to go after we go through the, uh, Mako Reactor and just kind of take a look at it and everything like that. Um, but, like, <clears throat> like, taking, like, a, the long route and stuff like that, they really outdid themselves on that. Um, I, for one, can say that it's a pain, but it kind of adds on to the story, kind of makes it, um, draw it a little longer because, honestly, um, like, let's look at how much time we've clocked so far. We've clocked over almost 17 hours, and we're not even through the, the first disc yet, considering that there is, as you can see, um, right here, there's three discs to the game. So, it's like... Whew, man. Um, I, I really do, like, as I've expressed before, I really do thoroughly enjoy this game. Just for the fact that you can spend so much time with it and still be, like, still be happy, I guess. Um, I'm going to go over here and, no, back up here. And nothing we can do. Uh, Genova. And it won't let us go on there. And that's really pisses me off, because I think there's a point in the game where you actually do get to go in there, like, and do things, but not yet, and you can't, like, tamper with anything, hit it with your sword, or anything like that, so that kind of sucks. So, yeah, I guess there wasn't really anything we needed to do in here, but it's just kind of like a trip down memory lane, I guess. Um, like, I really don't know, it's just kind of like, it's cool to actually get to walk in through there, um, like, outside of, uh, Cloud's memory. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna come down this way and get into another battle. And the random bound, uh, battle encounters never fail. They always end up screwing you over, like, right as you're, like, trying to do something, you're in the middle of doing something, and bam, random battle. Thanks. Oh, God, this is so annoying. Like, I really could have dealt without this, um, this monster in the, uh, game. I really could have. Like, if I had a really, I think if I had to choose a monster to, uh, like, take out of the game, it would have been this one. Just because of the pure annoyance of it. But that's just me. I don't know. Maybe there's another monster for you that you would, uh, rather take it out. And actually, I, I want to know um, what monster in this game so far, or ha if you've played it before, uh, put it in the comments below um, of which monster you would take out. Just just out of curiosity. Alright, so you come down, and bam, put that ladder down. And fight another dragon. And actually, I want to get done with this dragon pretty fast. 
I don't want to spend as much time as I did last time on it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll spam it with summons, I guess. And I want to go back and see what this says. It says, does damage equal to the user's max MP or HP? So I guess it could be beneficial. Like, if you were, like, really... If you're really high level. I'm going to use sense so I know how much uh, <coughs> HP he has. See, this is the other one. This, like, I don't know. Sometimes it switches off, like, um, which one it's going to use. But the first one you saw was one of them, and this is the other one. I, personally, I do like the other one better. That may just be me. I don't know. Sorry about that. Move my cursor out of the way. I always forget to do that. I always end up leaving it like right in the middle of the screen. And then when I watch it after I've recorded, I'm like, ugh. And I just healed him. I totally forgot. Alright. Well, we'll use bio. And I guess we'll just attack because we can't really do much else. And we'll use cure. And we'll use meteor, right? Or uh, we'll use finishing touch. I was gonna heal him, but never mind. I'm just leave it as it is. See, that sucks. Are you serious? Okay. I haven't had to use life except for, I think, twice. Oh, no. God, why can't they... There we go. Like, why can't they make it easier? Damn, are you serious? That blows. That really does. Alright, so we're going to use, that's good. You make sure you use Phoenix down and then we'll attack it and then, that was actually, that's really crappy. That sucks. So this is like the the, the random encounter battle that you want to watch out for. Um, you got to be strategic, or if not, you're going to get screwed over in the end. And I, I kind of healed it, so it didn't really help any, so that sucked pretty bad. Um... Dang. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to use high potions, because I don't want to waste, um... I'll, I'll get her, um... Her... Yuffie's, uh... MP back up when I get back down to the safe point. Actually, I think it's the second one. Second tube. Yes, it is. Alright, sweet. Power Soul. I think that is a weapon for uh, Tifa, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep, Power Soul. Powers up when near death. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of stuff that I have that, like, I don't even like weapons for other characters that I won't use. But oh well. So you jump down. And jump down again. And then we're going to use a tent, save, and fight this boss. Hopefully not get creamed, because I don't actually remember how uh, high level it is. I think it's actually just as strong, if not a little bit stronger, than um, than the dragon, which the dragon is decently strong compared to uh, us right now. So, like I said, hopefully we don't get like wiped out too bad, because if so, that's gonna that's gonna be embarrassing, just a little bit embarrassing. And we want to also get the uh, uh, the trine. Um, one from him, so, uh, since I'm going to use Big Guard, and I guess we're going to use, uh, Grease Lightning. So, 8,400, that's not that much, but it's still getting, 
Uh, it's, I think, level 34 is what it said. So, I mean, it, it's still pretty decent level, so. Uh, definitely want to throw a big guard on. That way, um, we just know we're not going to get totally creamed. Um, we'll steal from it. Why not? Nothing to steal. Okay. And we'll just, um, for now, we'll, uh, have her use a potion on herself, and we'll just, just kind of, like, attack it, not bring it down enough, because I don't want to, like, spam, uh, I don't want to spam, uh, what's it called, summons on it, just for the fact that I want to get this, because I think this is the only, bo uh, only battle that you can get, uh, trying, which is a, uh, I think it's a lightning enemy skill from, so I think this is the only boss you can, so. We got. I want to make sure we get that. So, actually, we'll use cure all. Just bring it down enough. It should use it sometime soon, hopefully. Cloud's just a troop taking all the damage, man. Good for him. And we'll heal Cloud because we want to make sure he, him especially. We want to make sure him and. Uh, uh, Aerith stay up in high um, health just for the fact that if he uses it, I don't know how much damage it's going to use. And I do not want, because um, I, I think if you die um, when he uses it, it doesn't like, it doesn't count. Because that's what happened with, uh... oh snap. Okay, so big guard again. Aerith, um, gonna have to use a high potion on Cloud. I really, really do not want, uh, please do not die. Okay. 4,000. Okay. I'm going to have used a high potion, too. Ah, I'm trying to keep him alive. Actually, we're going to use, uh, Cure 2. I know it might seem like a waste, but I do not want her to die. I want him to die by any means necessary, so, we're gonna use Meteor Rain, bring him down, that should bring him down a, a lot, but, um, enough where it'll, he might use the, uh, trine on us, so, we'll see. Damn, okay, so we can't do anything now, um, all we basically can do is sit here and wait, because, uh, we, we need to get that, um, we'll actually all attack and bring him down a little bit more. I'm kind of nervous, because I don't want to kill him. Because if I kill him, I'm going to have to restart the battle. That's why I saved. Come on, please use Trine soon. Cure 2. Well, that's good, too. If he cures himself, that means we can attack more. Alright, so we'll just attack. Trine, there we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit him with... Uh, Shiva and Cure 2. This said should actually kill him. And if not, um, we'll just use Odin. Actually, I like Odin. I, I like Odin a lot more than I do um, a lot of the other ones, just for the fact that I don't know. Alright, that's why it's not going to kill him. Um... Actually, you know what? We'll use Grease Lightning. Let um, Yuffie get the kill. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know if it'll kill him. There we go. Sweet. So we got Trine. I'm happy now. Because I was kind of nervous. I didn't think that it was going to actually let us uh, get it. 3,200 AP. Um, infant just leveled up. A gem ring. I don't know exactly what that does. Um... And we got a materia too. Counter. Ooh, very good. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to actually take Demi off because I'd much rather have Counter. What Counter does is, is basically what you think. Um, counter attack. And if it has cover, that's actually even better. Um, like a little kind of like a combo thing. So if I, I think if um, somebody tries to attack somebody else and I, I cover them and then. While I cover them, if I get, when I get hit, I still think I can use the counter attack, which is 
pretty cool. So, we'll see. I don't exactly know if that actually works or not. If not, oh well. I still want counter attack on. Alright, so. There we go. And that is uh, Mount Nimble for you guys. Alrighty, so. I just saved, don't really need to save anymore. On to the next town, which is uh, Rocket Town, actually. As you can see, it might say it right here. Yeah, Rocket Launch Pad Area. We don't get a rocket. I'm telling you, that's not, we don't get that as a, like a, like how we got the buggy. We don't get that. That'd be pretty cool. We actually do get to go into it later. That is a, a spoiler or whatever. Nimble Wolf. We'll just attack him. Yeah, see, we basically one hit everything now. We're pretty damn strong. I'm happy. I like that. Actually, you know what? If I uh, get a chance. I will uh, showcase trying. Yeah, I will. It's kind of it's gonna be kind of a waste, but oh well. All right. So where is it at? Try and try and there we go. Lightning damage upon all opponents. Well, I mean, I guess you already saw it. Never mind. That was kind of a waste because you saw it when he had used it against me. It does damn good damage though, man. I'm excited that we got that and the level up too. Level 33. And a nut. We got a nut. Alrighty. And another battle. God. And, uh, basically the dragon's little brother. Fat ones, I guess. I don't know. Um. Matra Magic. And fire too. Okay. Come on. Die already. Well, I guess not. So that that um. How come it's not using counter attack? Oh, I guess it did now. I don't know. That was weird. Well, I guess we just let Cloud kill him. So that, um, combination between the two, I guess it doesn't work. Um, oh well. Not that big of a deal. Um, and we're gonna save, actually. Save right outside, uh, Rocket Town. And time to go in. And we actually get a, uh, what's that? We actually get a new, um, character soon, too. So that's kind of cool. Get, like, one right after another. I think this is actually, this is the last, uh, character we get. A rusty old rocket. Wonder what they'd make something that huge for. Alright, we're gonna go check out the shops. And, let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Shotgun. Ah, armlets. Strength, vitality, magic, talisman. Okay, so we are definitely going to get three of these. Um, we're going to equip them real quick. And sell the ones we have. Gold. Gold. And gold. And I'll equip uh, materia according. The gun is a man's gun. Nothing else Nothing else will do. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see here. Where are we got? Actually, I'll sell all this stuff, too. Let me throw a clip. Staff. And there we go. And the carbon bangles. Actually, I'm going to sell this nut, too, because we don't really need them. All right. Let me uh, organize that real quick. Alrighty. And then we'll go to Materia. Oh. Well, I guess he already had something that was uh, like that, so. Well, we'll put, um, we'll put Rama on her. That way she has, uh, 
two. Everybody has two except for yeah, except for Cloud. But he's got uh, the enemy skill, so that kind of covers it up. Um, let's see here. Or actually, I'll put gravity on her. But actually, which I what did I combine that with? Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to switch this around real quick. That's not what I meant to click. Because I'm going to put the summons. Um, Yuffie, where are you at? What's right here? Steel. I actually want to keep that one up there. But I'll switch that. Because I want to get mug. Mug is a very good item. Or, um, materia. Um. Okay, it's not in here. In one of the, in one of the places in here, there's like a treasure chest in the toilet, so. Or like in the bathroom, so. Thought I'd check it out and see what it was in here. No, but there's a guy in the toilet over here. And actually, there's a way you can get him to go out of there, but I don't know exactly how that is. Uh, there we go. Um, well, there's nothing in here. Uh, back down the stairs. And this is the end, of course, as you can tell, like in slash bar, whatever. Do -do 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 guy going insane in there and there's a girl in there and I'm not gonna talk to everybody in here there's nothing really important they gotta say just kind of freaking out we'll come back later and talk to him though and I think this is the item shop if I'm right so uh, yeah there's an old lady in there um, check out the item shop see what they've got I don't really think they have anything in here that we need. Um, actually, I'm going to buy 99 of those. Ah, yes, they do. They have stuff we want. We want exit and we want time. Or exit and barrier. My bad. Okay, these are very, very good items. Or materials. Um, let's see here. What do we want to take off? What do we want to take off? What do we want to take off? Um, crap. You know what? Screw cover. Or I'm done with cover. Um, I'd much rather have uh, barrier, um, which, as you can tell, does barrier, magic barrier, reflect, and wall. We do want that because we want. Oh God, I, I can't even explain it. Like, it's just it's it's good. It's a good thing. And escape and remove. Um, this actually is um a material that I'm not like I, I used kind of when I first played it. But then as I started to play again, I just kind of didn't play it. I didn't use it that much. And we'll take, uh, I think we took gravity off. Um, because I, I really don't use Demi. I don't know, for me it's not really that uh, useful of an item or a materia. So, yeah. I'll, I'll showcase those actually uh, a little bit later. Where the hell is, oh, there it is. I guess it was in, I guess it wasn't in the bathroom. It was in like a kitchen. I think that's what it is. All right. So, time to go to the house that we needed to go to. Actually, we need to go in here and get that item. Drill arm, which you probably know it's for, uh... I... Uh, Barrett, my bad. Ah, a ship. Or a plane. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Cloud, let's steal it. I love stealing from the Shinra. Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara. And what are your name and what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Yuffie. And I'm Aerith. Hmm. So you're not with Shinra. I thought that the approval of the reopening of the space program came. President Rufus is scheduled to come come here. The captain's been re restless all morning. Rufus? Yep. We don't fight Rufus, actually. We fight, um... I think his name's Palmer. But yeah, let's go up to the rocket. Alright. Come on up there.
And up the rocket we go. Up, 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 up and away. Alright. So we're going to come in here. And there is the captain. What are you guys doing here? We, ca we heard the captain was here. Captain, I'm the captain. Sid, which is the uh, playable character that we get. The name is Sid, every but every everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want to know? Um, I guess we'll go through each one of them. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright, then I'll explain it to you. You know the Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Now, now it's a Mako company. But in the old days, it was ma a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thoughts of being going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made a prototype after, and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They choose the be uh, they choose the best pilot in the world. The best pilot in Shinra, no, in the world, me, I mean, come on, he, he's really cocky, I'm just telling you that now, and we finally got the data launch, everything was going well, because of that dumbass Shara, the launch was got messed up, that's, that's why they became so anal, and Shara, uh, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans, after they told me how the future was space exploration and got my um, got my damn hopes up. Damn them. Then it was all over once they found Mako Energy was profitable. Profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a finance number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know what which will come first. This thing will crash down or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. And we'll talk to him again. My last hope is to talk to the president. So basically that's um it. And then we're going to come back down here. I should have talked about the uh, other things, but... It kind of sums it up. Shinra. And I come all the way around here. There we go. And back into... Uh, which actually is Sid's house. Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Bleep bleep, Shara, what are you blind? We got guests. Get some tea. Damn it, I guess. I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up and sit your ass down in that chair and drink some. Drink your goddamn tea. He's got a anger. He says, ah, I'm damn. I'm pissed. Sure, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco, and make sure to serve them some tea. All right. Mm. Man, this sucks. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, no. He's always like this. It's like this all the time. You keep quiet even when he's like he's like that to you. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Let me go on like a back in the future. Hey, get your ass in gear. You uh you you work like a snail. Even the mood get tired of waiting around for your ass. I'm I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that bleep bleep oxygen tank. Share. Share. Been care. Uh, been careful. Uh, being care. Be eh, being careful's good. 
but it won't do us any good how many times you check that oxygen tank. That thing wouldn't break even if health froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid. Be more efficient. I'm sorry. He's an ass to her, like, really bad. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We're so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, participations are, are complete. Preparations are complete. That's all left. Uh, all that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll be back in a few. Alright, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrumental panel all clear. Panel all clear. Shinra number two, 26 ready for launch. Engine pressure en engine pressure pressure rising. No Shinra number 26 3 minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the what happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still down in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is this little bleep bleep bleep? I don't know, act activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey god damn it, who the hell who the hell is still in there? Is Shara Captain, don't mind me, go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing down still doing there? I was still concerned the oxygen takes weren't satisfactory. You stupid little retard I don't know. It's gonna get hot in there. There ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna burn into Chris. You're gonna die. Do you know that? You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can fix this, launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done. You're gonna die, Sid. We must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. Shara stood in there. What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara. You want to make me a murderer? Captain. Shara? Tank number s seven is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara. Hurry up. You're going to die. 30 seconds until ignition. Ca beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal heat rising. In internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon out of space. My dreams. Ignition. Ignite engine. Shit. And he canceled it. So that's how Rocket Town got started, I guess. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and launch was canceled. It was my fault. His dream was destroyed. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I live my life for him. Sure, you still haven't served them tea? I'm I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down or, or ain't my ain't my hospitality good enough for you. They're late, where is Rufus? Hey hey, long time no see. So Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't fat man Palmer. How long you figured on keeping me waiting? 
So, when's gonna when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you go ask him? Good for nothing, fat son of a beaver. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey, you know. Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. That's so gross. That is, that is really nasty. Alright. Well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. This is your host, WhiteBoy503. Um, stay tuned next time to uh, see if uh, Sid's dream comes true and uh, they restart the uh, space program. Um, and for us to continue on our journey. I'll see you guys later. Peace.